Yo, so as you can see, it's yo motherfucking guy, Loki fucking Ferg in the building. Y'all can see by the title. It say, How to Have Faith. Now look, it's most, it's a hundred billion ways to have faith, but this is one of my ways. Maybe it can spark, spark something inside you, and you could do your way. And you know, hey, let's get straight to it though. Like I wrote some things though. We are gonna get it. We gonna get it. Popping, pimping, rocking, straight up, it's rock and roll. So look, the first thing for having faith: surround yourself with a positive influence. Inspire your own self. Be self-motivated. Like, be around things that you can look at and be like, you know, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go get that. I'm going to have that. So, I got a lot of, like, uh, things put on my wall, affirmations put on my wall. But I don't do affirmations like y'all are because I am actually am the affirmation. So, I just put low-key and then whatever I am at the end. Low-key, whatever I am. And then, like, you know. That's how I surround myself with a positive influence. Like whenever I get any type of discouragement or distracted, I look at that specific word and I get up and I go. Cause right here it says shine, low key shine. So whenever uh you know I'm dimming my light for some some reason, I just look at that and I shine. You know I just come back and remember, like I like that's that's what I do. Cause like it's in my surroundings. Or I got some friends. I got I got people who do music as well. I won't even say friends. I got associates. Cause friends turns to enemy to the end. That's why it always ends. That's why friend has ending in it. But there's a whole other other topic. You don't really you, you don't care about that. I know you don't. You ain't come here for that. You came here to learn how to have faith the right way. Well, the way I I, I have faith and you can have faith in you know more of an expanded way. So if you can hear me, like if this if this shit is not like only on my camera, then you probably can hear me. Yeah, you know, be around, you know, associates or people that you could, uh, if they into what you do, match up what you what you got right and whatever you got right. See how they are a, a, either a, a add-on or a liability. And if they're a liability, sometimes, you know, that's some people's roles. But if, if you like to deal with it, then you deal with it. But if not, then you look for somebody who, you know, even, if, even though they not, they they not uh, the best at, at what they do, but they not a liability though. So that's hey. But back to it. So yeah. So you know, surround yourself around some a, a positive associations who you could thrive with. You know, say say I make music, so I put myself around people who make music, and you know they don't make ass music either. So I could I compare my music to 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 people who like I wanna uh, get better. Like, I don't want to just compare myself to um, somebody who don't even take music serious. That person don't even know how to, they don't even know what an ad lib is. So, like, just surround yourself around somebody who is informed on what you do and could actually, you know, help you and you can help them. Now, if somebody's a liability, if you want to deal with it, you can deal with it. But you don't have to. All right, so to practice gratitude. So, look. I've I've practiced this, so I'm gonna hear it. I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna preach it. So look, every single day if you got this little iPhone thing right here in my hand. You see, you got this right here. Every single day, all you have to do is say thank you. Count to 17. Like while you saying like, write in your notes, thank you. And as you writing in your notes, thank you. Make sure make sure like you go to 17 every day. Like. For 17 things that you're thankful for every day, and, and you do this for 31 days, and your vibration is gonna raise, and you're gonna, you know, see more opportunities come to you. Like, the more that you satisfy, the more satisfaction you're gonna see reasons to be satisfied. And you know, I I actually seen this happen for my own self. I I was saying, you know, thank you for every little thing, every small thing. Like I I went to detail with me saying thank you. So I did that for 31 days and I reread everything I said. And you know, we ended off at like 7 and 50 or up there somewhere around there, right? And then I got thrown off. Like how I got thrown off, I manifested What the fuck is what? Uh, 
the fuck? That shit weird, but my, my computer just went off. But I manifested a, a, a person, uh, uh, whatever, whatever, like, I was, like, saying I was thankful for, I manifested that shit. I manifested that shit. Like, I, I ain't just say it one day. I did it for, like, a whole month. And then, you know, other than that, I just go, uh, what I do is I read in the morning, in the rising, right? I read all the way down. And then at the nighttime, I read all the way up. So, yeah. But, you know, practice gratitude. And I gave y'all a way to practice gratitude. Write down everything you're grateful for every day. And, and this is going this is going to help you go a long way with appreciating the small things and the things that is you know sometimes you think not possible but when you appreciate the small things you see what you have you make it possible three this is the third thing y'all should you know do for having faith meditate or p r e y regularly now meditating that is letting go of thoughts and feelings that's sometimes not even breathing like you hear somebody tell you breathe in breathe out well i'm gonna tell you no don't do that at all you can't that's another breathing technique but here's a better one you stop breathing and when you stop breathing make sure you set your attention like this i'm breathing in that new energy i'm pushing out all of that you know the in the old energy and right and like I could really put real words behind it. I don't have to say energy. I'm pushing out that toxicity. I'm pulling in that that uh, expansion. Like, okay. So other than that, though, but back to what I was going down the line of reading, reasoning. Back to what it. So, you know, whenever you are going into meditation, set your attention for what your breath does. And this is why I'm telling you, telling you, don't breathe. Cause if you you hold your breath. To the point where you have to breathe, you, 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 you getting in all that fresh new newness for your body, for your blood, and you push it. When you push all that out, like, <laughs> you see how, how much like, if you're doing a shallow breath. This breath like feels like your whole your whole you know diaphragm and it fills it with new newness and not nothing that's going you know that was already there. So that's why you that like a real way to meditate. You know that I'm I'm lying on you to hear because I seen a couple of shit and they all all they said was breathe in breathe out. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all breathe in breathe out all day. So you know I want to tell you. You gotta, you gotta stop it. You gotta stop breathing in. And then when you need a breath, you take a deep breath. But you gotta set your attention. I'm breathing out all that negativity. I'm breathing out all that bullshit. And then you gotta be like, I'm breathing in all the freshness. I'm breathing in all the goodness. You know, I think y'all get what I'm saying. But yeah, practice meditation daily. Pray, P-R-E-Y. What pray is, you go for it. You, you set up. A fucking like a trap to get what it is yours now when i say set up a trap i'm saying set up the whole event to go in your favor now some things don't go in your favor but if if you if you gonna become in your in your uh your mind i'm a lion okay so boom you go you go you go for that shit lion heartedly okay so whatever predator you you want to be i'm the alien predator so but whatever like whatever <laughs> whatever whatever you want to be instead of being somebody's food pray p-r-a-y whatever whatever predator you want to be you want to be that and go for it just like that now if you need help you know acting out in those uh those animal animalistic energies uh, watch some videos on lions. How they, how they, how they move around in the, in the, the little field. And if, if you need, if that, that's really it. Like that, ass. Like you, that's all you gotta do. Then you know, just go, go and do something different. Go do something like what you wanted to do. I bet you move like a lion. In, the, in your, in it. But when you watching it, 
make sure you in your heart like this is me in my heart like when you watch you gotta really because look your power is your belief in your uh what you have faith in you know having faith is uh you know really just seeing seeing it before it's in front of you like you know everybody had a vision before they had money all right just keep that in mind but yeah you know that 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 was that was the you know the third one meditate and or p-r-e-y every day like regularly like it's like something that you know how you shit it's something like that it's like something that's naturally in you it's like it's like you you can go met you got your meditate like it's like you know when your body tell you go shit it's like the same thing when you go meditate it's like your body say it's time to meditate Ha! No, <laughs> but like for real though like uh you know do it do it like i do it at like uh four in the morning to five in the morning no no that's too short to, to six to six sometimes seven but other than that yeah you know with you though start off with five minutes because you probably gonna be looking at your phone every every fucking like you like so say so look this is it right this this is the, the meditation you putting the timer on peace are you are you here yet i just started peace i started like five seconds ago peace are you coming you coming in now hello peace peace see now see look see look that that is not how you meditate you don't go in don't go in meditation expecting just go and go meditate without nothing without no, like dead ass don't go in there for nothing and come out with nothing that don't go in there with like you might go in there with a lot of shit on your mind just come out with nothing just, just, just come out with nothing like let your mind just let your like be a uh 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 in the theater of your of your thoughts while you meditate just watch some shit oh i thought of that shit ain't no way that's my thought am i even thinking this right now like on some real shit like you know be a observer be a observer all right so and then the fourth one right so it's a read a spiritual text so that means like read some type of quote make your own quote like i made i made i made a spiritual book but it's like i made it when i was like 18 so like i haven't released it but you know i look at that like everything i said in that i kind of proven like i seen proof of everybody doing it and i see myself prove it so it's like when i drop that you know be able to either read that but the thing is with me we're dropping that sometimes i'll be like man i can't tell these people this shit <laughs> i mean sometimes i'll be thinking that shit i'll be like these motherfuckers ain't gonna get it they ain't gonna get it it, it and like I show some people, they get it. I show people, they be like, damn, what the fuck? Did they go about their life in a different, more, more expanded way? That's all I need. I don't need to, I don't need all that. But if I know that you, you, you can go about your life in a more, you know, happier soul, like spirit, like you ain't gonna be in a place where you like, like your facial expression is, I don't want that. Nah, I'm good. But. <laughs> But yeah, for real, read like read a spiritual text a day. That can legit make your own. Like you don't gotta just read the Bible. Like there ain't nothing wrong with that. You wanna read it? Hey, hey look, yeah, I might just tell you how to read it the right way, but I ain't gonna come and force it down your throat and say, hey, you reading it wrong. If you read something to me, I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, this is what stood out to me, and this way where, where what really means. Like that's all I'm gonna do. I ain't go. I ain't go. Actually, agree with you. I might for the time, but I ain't go. I ain't go. You know, but like, yeah, this is how I gotta live my life. Yes, yes, submit. You ain't my bitch. But like, <laughs> that, that that this video is you know simple. It's simple. Like you just read it. Read a little text. Like you can legit. Like fuck looking up Google. I'm gonna tell you this shit. You go outside. You hear the low, a little hobo. He'll tell you some spiritual text. Live it. Listen to a hobo. But you gotta be a certain kind of hobo. It gotta be a hobo with a glow. It can't be no like a hobo that's doing crack. Like they gonna tell you, look, 
you get that crack, you snort that shit. And then, what, what the fuck you learn spiritual from that? Okay, then. Okay, so, look, I'm, I'm just I'm being honest. I'm just being honest. Like, or... Cause everybody got some type of, like, you know, wisdom. They don't mean they use it. So everybody got some type of knowledge, you know. Don't mean they got wisdom. But, like, what, what I'm assisting is when you are, you know, going out in your daily day, you know, try to learn something from at least one person. Like, it could be the smallest things that could legit change your whole life. Like, just meeting somebody who know a lot about fun facts, right? You get get some fun facts around around about uh, from that person, and then you move on, and then now you can be a good conversation conversationalist, whatever that word is. Like you could be a good conversationalist because you know you met somebody in the past that who was giving you a bunch of fun facts, and now you got all these fun facts in your head that you can give somebody else to start a conversation, be engaging, and you know, hey, hey, read a spiritual text, and that could just mean you know. Making your own, put down some some rhymes that that will uh, not you know meant to put you down. It, it it meant to like if you read it, it can help you grow your 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 mental your mental. All right, and then the fifth one, connect with the faith community. So like you know how they got ch- churches, right? Since since they got churches, that's like quote unquote a faith community. But what what you really should look for is a people who have like minds and they could uh be it around your space where out y'all having to like feel whenever one person disagree that everything is gonna go down ship just because that one person disagree you no know, you need to put yourself in a position where you are around it like-minded people like i already said that so you have people who believe in you when you don't believe in you you have people around you who who like they see something in you that you don't see like they they have more faith that everything in trust than you so like these people are gonna expand yours even if you in a little bit of doubt they're gonna make you feel like you don't your doubt don't worry you have people who truly f- feel you and believe you and like they really dare for you so it's like be around a, a group that you can have you know you can show off your faith and they not gonna be like cuz it's sometimes you be around people who just want to shoot you down like that's all they do that's all they about. They not about nothing else. They just about shooting your your idea down. And sometimes if your idea is stupid, then you should shoot yourself down. Shit. The fuck? Maybe they had to be a vessel to tell your ass, look, that ain't they ain't gonna work out. You need to go you need to go to McDonald's. You gotta flip these burgers. You like look. Just be, be around somebody. Um, keep it real from the jump. They ain't waiting for you to make it. They ain't, they ain't waiting for you to make it. They gonna they gonna keep it real from the jump. And the sixth way how to have you know faith is keep an open mind. Now what keeping an open mind is be a little optimistic, not autistic. A little optimistic, enthusiastic, enthusiasm. Have some enthusiasm. Be be a person with spontaneous like in your head like open minded you know don't be closed door one minded meaning that you only think it can happen from this one way or it's not happening at all or you could put yourself in a situation where you one minded so you just like you look at it as you know it's all about me fuck in my life is the best nobody else life exists type shit so like don't be one minded Keep your keep an open mind, you know. Disagree to agree. Now, when I say disagree to agree, like sometimes you just gotta disagree with somebody ass. Like you don't gotta say yeah, I agree with you. You just gotta disagree. Look, we gonna have to disagree to agree, cause like I'm not agreeing with you. So that's the best disagree we're getting right there. It's just disagree. You gonna be okay with me disagreeing? Cause ain't nothing you say gonna make me agree with you. So you know, but we're keeping an open mind is, you know, you're able to uh, see. Um, from people's perspective and not just allow yourself to be out here going looking crazy like you don't got nobody you don't got nobody to to make your perspective more larger like you just really in your own little little, like one mind that that it's not all everybody in the collective mind it's just your mind and you look at your mind like my mind is the best like you living like a life path for one person like you, you're not trying to be 
uh, in it together, unity. You like in that shit for you. You like, yeah, I'm doing that shit for me. You could you could do a whole fucking charity. I ain't even saying like charity is something that's good. But you could be doing a whole charity. And when you're doing that charity, you like, yes, I'm doing this charity for me. You like, you like, when you do that charity, you like recording it for like a personal reason. Like you ain't even doing it for like, like you doing it just to show people that you did it. You ain't doing it for like a personal, like a personal, yes, this make me feel good inside. Like you doing it because you want to show people, yeah, this is the type of person I am. And like in real life, you're not like that. So you might as well be, you might as well just donate it to me. My pockets is charity. You might look. I want to build a whole fucking uh, function where we all can, you know, I, I ain't tell you my plans. You, you don't even care about, like, you, you, just, I'm going back to the video. Just know that. But, seven, challenge your doubts. Whenever you got something doubtful, say you get an idea. Oh, I don't know if I should do that. Go do that shit. That's just, anytime you think, I don't know if I should do that. Go and go for it. Make it happen. Be a person, be a person who could, like, uh... Who could like, you know, challenge yourself, get outside your comfort zone, be a person who could put you in a position where you not doubtful. You can't be like, I wish I did that. I could have did that better. No, you put yourself in any time any doubt arises, you go straight to it. Like, you know, don't be scared of that shit. Now, you got somebody around you that that is making you doubtful. Sometimes you got to let their ass know. I don't give a fuck about what you think or say yo feelings and opinions don't get me paid straight up tell her yeah straight up shut the fuck up and then go about your day now if they want if they want to they want to bug up you know you don't have to you have to settle 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 it if they want to bug up they want to tweak with you you're gonna have to settle that shit don't be a bitch out here if you being a bitch out here they're gonna fuck you up stop being a bitch out here god damn like look they gonna fuck you up. These some wolves out here, and you looking like a sheep. Which one is you? Shit. Cause there's wolves out here, and sometimes it be sheep's and wolf clothing, so they act like a sheep. But really, they wanna bite you. They wanna, they wanna eat your ass. But real life, challenge your doubts. Meaning. Go for them and don't look back at all. Never stop. Never stop for nobody. You know, never stop for nobody. Like, I mean, I don't care. If you got a kid, that's the only way you can yeah, bring them with you. She. But the eighth way to find out how to have faith. Find purpose in your life. So every day, make a purpose for you. Make a purpose. I'm going to go up these stairs just means that, you know, my purpose of going up these stairs means that I'm exercising. Like, make a purpose around every, every little, like, like, nah, see that, that could be too crazy, though, because you could be making a purpose for something that don't even need a purpose. Yes, I walk through, I walk through, I walk through this fire, because when I walk through the fire, it, it means that, you know, um, I could be fireman. Like, that's not no real purpose, you know, you, if you, that, Maybe that's some type of like weird kink that you got to be fireman or some shit. But hey, like look. Ten, one out of ten, you probably gonna, you know, walk through that fire. At the moment, ain't nothing gonna happen. Two hours later, you're gonna see you actually burnt yourself. You was just distracted by the adrenaline. So. But other than that though, like on some real shit, find your purpose in your life make it. nobody can tell you hey this is what you're gonna do for the rest of your life if somebody tell you that you're not gonna do it you're gonna like you're gonna be like i don't even want to do this shit like have you ever had somebody i'm pretty sure like the dudes y'all had like y'all parents tell you i don't know why y'all would feel some type of way or i don't know but say so you know they said take the garbage out like your parents or your dad or you know your mom one of them they told you take the garbage out you know and at that moment, you need to know that's your purpose in life. At that moment, taking that taking that trash out, that's your purpose. Since you don't want to make your own purpose, like, and when somebody tell you to take that trash out, shit, you probably get a little salty. You like, I was I was busy, I was busy doing something, and you come in here and interrupt. So it's like, 
when you when you give yourself a purpose, when somebody interrupt you, you have every reason like to let them. Hey, I don't know what you got going on, but over here we don't do that shit. You gonna have to take that shit over there, fam. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get. I I don't know if this is competing. Like, can you understand me? We do not play like that. Okay, and you know, just let they ass know, but cause you be like, I'm doing something right now, and right now me taking out my time to tell you what's going on is 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 wasting my sex, and you know, I actually care about my minutes. So you you know, if you want to keep playing, it's gonna get ugly. And when you say you get ugly, you just be like, look, I don't I don't want to I don't want to deal with this shit right now. I ain't yelling at you. I'm coming at you calm. If I raise my voice, we are gonna have a problem. So I'd rather you just leave me alone, and when I'm done, I'm being in a better mood. But right now, no, you're gonna have to watch out. So, you know, make your purpose. Cause when you got your purpose, you have every reason to be, you know, not budging. You doing something. Figure, figure, finish doing that. And then, the ninth way to have faith: look for signs of faith in your life every day. So every day look for a sign. Look for a sign to keep having faith. Look for a sign that like a synchronicity is that is telling you that this is this is um helping you, you know, that this is the right direction to go down. Like look for a sign every day. And you know, and then they'll help you, you know, um, you know, actually be faithful. Hey, like being faithful is being loyal to to your goals. Like your goal, like that you like you envision like, envision in your head, like having faith in that, being faithful, even though everything is not you know coming to play at the exact moment. Since you being faithful, and every time you be faithful, you waiting, you being loyal to to it. Like you know the word faithful, so you being loyal to a specific thing. So since you being loyal to your your goal, you know you get out what you put in. 10. Embrace the uncertainty as a part of the journey. Oh, excuse me. Embrace the confusion. Once you get comfortable with the confusion, boom, you're going to see the next level of, of having faith. But that is that is like how to have faith. So we're going to go over it. We're going to go over it real quick. So how to have faith, you know, you have to be a person who, who just totally, you know, not, not into what somebody telling you 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 go by what you can believe and because that's your power and it's like what you believe in that's what you gonna be inside of so if you believe in a person you're gonna be going giving them energy or if you believe in yourself you're gonna be giving yourself energy so like whatever you believe in is how to have faith and whatever you have faith in you have to be loyal to that and whatever you be loyal to you will get back in return. So if you're gonna be loyal to negativity, you get that back. If you're gonna be loyal to positivity, you get that back. But hey, that was happy to have faith. Play this back if you you wanna hear it. Or hold up, I'm on my list one more time. I'm on my list one more time. It's just in case you know y'all was y'all went to go downstairs and get some water or something. So I'm I'm really back real fast. Surround yourself with positive influence. Practice gratitude. <laughs> Strong yourself with positive influence. Practice gratitude. Surround <laughs> yourself with positive influence. Practice gratitude. Meditate or pray. P R E Y regularly. Read spiritual texts. Connect with a faith community. Keep an open mind. Twenty four seven. Challenge your doubts. Find the purpose in your life. Look for a sign of faith in everyday life. Embrace the uncertainty as a part of the journey. So, basically, with everything I just said. If y'all want to go back, y'all can listen. But basically, with everything I just said, you have to have you have, to have deep belief in yourself and genuinely. Nothing fake or fabricated. Fake, basically. Don't be fake. And now, if you're going to fake it, at least know that. Like, know that you're faking it. Don't really believe your own lie. Now, if you're going to believe your own lie, shit, you might make people look at you a little off. But if you believe it, it might manifest. It might manifest. Like, you uh, See, I know you got to have realness to really, you know, attract has to be pure. But when you faking it, 
you could deceive and manipulate into into you, I guess you have it for real. But that's like that's like a long way out. I mean that's like the long way. But you know that hey, whatever way works for you, you do it. Be safe.